A Ray of Hope for Emma A story about hope and a lifelong friendship Emma was a young girl who had known hardship from an early age. She had no family, and her home was the cold, hard ground under a bridge. The city's skyline flickered in the distance, but for Emma, its light seemed worlds away. Her clothes were torn, making her shiver whenever the wind blew. Her stomach often growled with hunger, and she had to scavenge through trash cans to find scraps of food. Her shoes were worn out, barely protecting her feet from the rough pavement. Her life was a constant struggle, and every day was filled with despair. One chilly morning, Emma was near a park, digging through a trash can, looking for something to eat. That's when she saw Linda, a middle-aged woman walking her golden retriever. Linda seemed warm, her smile genuinely kind. Linda's eyes met Emma's, and for a moment, they both paused. Linda smiled, and although hesitant, Emma managed a weak smile back. Linda couldn't shake the feeling that she needed to do something for this girl. Linda returned the next day with a freshly laundered blanket neatly folded under her arm. And a paper bag filled with turkey sandwiches and apple juice. I thought you might be cold and hungry, Linda said softly, handing the items to Emma. As Emma grabbed the blanket and wrapped it around herself, her eyes welled up with tears. She thanked Linda with a shaky voice. For the first time in years, she felt warmth, both physically and emotionally. Emma felt a glimmer of hope that someone cared for her. Days later, Linda returned with another life-changing offer. Emma, there's a youth shelter not too far from here. They can offer you a safe place to sleep, a clean shower, and regular meals. What do you think? Linda asked. Emma felt a mixture of fear and excitement. Could she trust this woman? Gathering courage, she nodded her head and said yes. Linda drove her to a clean, well-maintained shelter, where the staff greeted her with open arms. Emma was overwhelmed but grateful. Life in the shelter was surreal for Emma. She had a small room with a real bed, fluffy pillows, and a comforter. She was given a cozy room that she shared with Sarah, another girl her age, and they quickly became good friends. The hot showers felt like a luxury, and the three square meals she got every day felt like a feast. Linda visited often, bringing essentials such as a toothbrush, shampoo, and even a backpack filled with school supplies. With Linda's help, Emma enrolled in a nearby school. Months turned into a year, and Emma's life was unrecognizable from before. She was a diligent student, and her grades were consistently high. Her teacher noticed her avid reading habits and recommended her to the school's book club. Linda, seeing Emma's potential, helped her find a part-time job at a local grocery store. Emma saved every penny she earned in a small piggy bank, allowing herself to dream of college and a career. As time passed, Linda became more than a benefactor, she became family. Emma spent Christmas mornings and Thanksgivings at Linda's cozy home, sharing laughter and love. They celebrated birthdays, and Linda always made sure to bake Emma's favorite chocolate cake. Each celebration etched a happy memory in Emma's heart, making her more and more grateful for the family she had found in Linda. Upon graduating from college with a degree in social work, Emma took a job at the very shelter where her life had turned around. She had come full circle, from a destitute girl to a confident, educated woman dedicated to giving others the same chance Linda had given her. She looked back at her life, humbled and grateful, knowing that it was Linda's act of kindness that had been her ray of hope. Years passed, and Emma had made it her life's mission to give back to the community that had given her so much. She worked tirelessly at the shelter, helping other young people like herself find their way out of poverty and despair. She was driven by a sense of purpose and gratitude. 
and she knew that every life she touched was a testament to Linda's kindness and the power of human compassion. One day, as Emma was leaving the shelter, she saw a young girl sitting by the side of the road, crying. Emma approached her and asked what was wrong. The girl, whose name was Lily, was a runaway who had been living on the streets for weeks. Emma listened to her story and offered her a place to stay at the shelter. Lily was hesitant at first, but Emma's kindness and warmth convinced her to accept the offer. Over the next few weeks, Emma and the staff at the shelter helped Lily get back on her feet. She was given a safe place to sleep, regular meals, and access to education. Emma took Lily under her wing, and they formed a close bond. Emma saw herself in Lily and knew that she had the power to change her life, just as Linda had changed hers. As the years passed, Emma continued to help young people like Lily find their way in the world. She became a beacon of hope in her community, a shining example of the transformative power of kindness and compassion. Her journey had been long and difficult. But with the help of Linda and the many others who had shown her kindness, she had found her way to a life of purpose and fulfillment. The End Don't forget to like and subscribe if you find this story helpful. Thank you.